Welcome to Liftoff, your first place where you find everything space, and often SpaceX. SpaceX can't start expanding its launch facilities in Boca Chica, Texas anytime soon. The Army Corps of Engineers has closed its review on the company's application to build a new launch pad, landing pad, and other related infrastructure in Boca Chica. SpaceX reportedly failed to provide the Army Corps with the environmental information requested. In June 2012, SpaceX quietly started buying up properties in Boca Chica, the remote, rugged, and sleepy beach community in the southernmost tip of the state. Two years later, Elon Musk's company said they needed approval from the federal state and local governments to build what he said would be the world's first commercial spaceport. By late 2018, however, SpaceX converted the facility into Skunk Works for the development of a giant, fully reusable space vehicle called Starship. Between 2018 and 2020, the site added significant rocket production and test capacity. The name Starbase began to be used more widely by SpaceX after March 2021, when SpaceX had some discussions described as casual inquiry about incorporating a city to be called Starbase. By early 2022, the Starbase moniker for the SpaceX facilities in South Texas had become common. Starbase is also used sometimes to describe the region of Boca Chica subdelta peninsula surrounding the SpaceX facilities. SpaceX chose Boca Chica because it is near the shoreline, mostly inhabited, near the equator, closer to California, has experience and capable workforce in Texas. And Texas state and local legislators offered tax incentives to build a rocket facility and launch site there. SpaceX was seeking approvals to construct a new launch pad, new landing pad, and other launch-related infrastructure that would support its existing reusable launch vehicle operations in the South Texas facility. The expansion would have been built on about 17 acres, including wetlands and mudflats. The Army Corps of Engineers is responsible for oversight of wetland development under Section 404 of the Clean Water Act. In this role, the Corps makes sure the developers do not harm natural resources and drinking water, nor cause stress to endangered species and their habitat when alternative sites or approaches could be used instead. In applying to the USACE for a permit last year, SpaceX said the proposed expansion was to accommodate additional launch slash landing pads, integration towers, and associated infrastructure storm weather management features and vehicle parking. According to the public notice, USACE issued last year soliciting comments. SpaceX did submit some information to the USACE, though the company's citing criteria requiring the use of existing infrastructure eliminates without additional considerations all alternatives not located in Boca Chica, even though SpaceX has said it is considering additional launch slash re-entry beyond Boca Chica, USACE has said. USACE called SpaceX's definition of environmental siting criteria too broad and undefined and recommended that the company readdress the no action alternative in its analysis. SpaceX failed to provide the requested information, compelling the Army Corps to suspend the company's application. The Army Corps advised SpaceX of its decision in a letter dated March 7th, which was only recently picked up by news outlets, including Bloomberg. The suspended application serves up yet another complication for SpaceX, as it could cause further delays in the development of Starship, a gigantic rocket that will play a critical role in the upcoming Artemis missions to the moon. SpaceX is currently awaiting the results of a separate environmental assessment from the Federal Aviation Administration. Without the requested information, the permit modification process cannot continue because an informed decision cannot be reached, an Army Corps of Engineers spokesperson said in an email to Gizmodo. The Boca Chica launch facilities, or Starbase as SpaceX refers to it, is located on private land in Cameron County and near the populated areas of Brownsville and South Padre Island. The site was recently the scene of spectacular launches and crashes as SpaceX performed suborbital tests of the Starship second stage. The Elon Musk-led company is pushing forward with the development of the fully integrated Starship, requiring the added infrastructure at Boca Chica. According to an Army Corps public notice from March 4th, 
the proposed expansion will impact 10.94 acres of mudflats, 5.94 acres of estuarine wetlands, and 0.28 acres of non-tidal wetlands. In this letter from March 7th, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Gulveston District stated that SpaceX must submit a thorough alternatives analysis, a thorough public interest review, and a formal compensatory mitigation plan to address the potential loss of aquatic resources. The Army Corps said it didn't get the info despite repeated requests. Therefore, your Department of Army permit application is withdrawn, the letter stated, to which it added this permit application process can be reinitiated by submitting a response addressing all of the comments or concerns. SpaceX did not immediately respond to our request for an update on the current status of the application. Although the letter clarifies the request is withdrawn, it also advises it can be reinitiated if SpaceX addresses the comments and concerns. The comments listed in the letter from the group state SpaceX's operations are not wetland dependent. They also suggest the operation uses alternative locations such as the McGregor, Texas facility and other locations about wetlands. We often get that we're anti-SpaceX or that we're trying to stop SpaceX. While some of our members do feel that way, many of our members don't. It's our goal to make sure that the laws are being followed and the regulatory process is being adhered to. Patrick Anderson, the chair of the Lower Rio Grande Valley Sierra Club group, explained. This past February, Musk said he would consider moving Starship operations to Cape Canaveral and Kennedy Space Center in Florida to further the development of the mega rocket. Once built, Starship will be the most powerful rocket in the world, surpassing that of NASA's upcoming space launch system. SpaceX is under pressure to develop Starship as it is under a contract with NASA to provide a lunar lander for the Artemis III mission to the moon which is scheduled to launch no earlier than 2025. As for Boca Chica site, Musk said it would make sense to convert it into a research and development facility. That Starship operations will be moved to Florida is a distinct possibility. The pending permit from the Army Corps is a complicating factor, and the pending approval from the FAA is another matter entirely. The FAA has decided if a full environmental impact statement is required. If it is, it could take months or even years to complete. It's no wonder, therefore, that Musk is looking to Florida. The FAA is expected to announce its decision on April 29th. SpaceX has completed multiple high-altitude test flights with its Starship prototypes, but its next major step is to reach space. Starship is the spacecraft the company is developing to someday embark on a mission to Mars. The company's Starship progress was delayed on multiple fronts last year, and an orbital flight test is now pending regulatory approval. Musk said during the February press conference that Starship, their orbital rocket project, could launch in May 2022. The FAA says they will publish their decision at the end of this month. Thank you for watching until the end. If you want to see more about space and SpaceX, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification feature. See you next time.